Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Pop! OS. So it's going to click on the download button here. And there is a standard and an NVIDIA. So depending on which card you've got, uh, we'll go with the standard for the example. And I'm going to let this download and then I will be back once it's finished. And I'll show you how to get Etcher and then write this ISO to a USB stick. All right, and our ISO just completed. So now we'll open a new tab and we'll go to Etcher. And it's etcher.belina.io. Click on download. We want the 64 bit app image. And we'll let that go. I'll pull up my downloads folder while we're waiting. All right, and that did complete. So we go into downloads, right click on the Etcher app image that we just downloaded, go to permissions, allow executing file as program, make sure that's selected. And we'll just double click on that. And that launches Etcher. So then we'll go to file, highlight our pop OS, open, and then select your USB stick here, click flash and let that complete and then leave the USB stick in your machine. And we're gonna strike F11 or F12 on the keyboard to get to your boot menu. Select your USB stick that you just flashed with the Pop! OS ISO. And then that's where I will rejoin you. All right, and we didn't really have very many options there. We've got the ISO for the Nvidia card, so it pretty much just boots up itself. But we'll let this boot up and then we'll go through the install options together. All right, system updates are available. We're gonna click the X on that. We just wanna install, we don't wanna do updates on the USB stick. So we'll just go with English and select. United States, English on the keyboard, default. And we wanna do a clean install. You'll notice with the Pop! OS installer, it's very straightforward. So we put our name in next, put in a super secret password. Don't encrypt the drive and boom, it's already installing. So I'll speed this portion of the video up and I'll see you on the first login. All right, and the install is complete. I'm just gonna restart and I'll see you at the first login. All right, let's log in here. All right, and we've got a wizard where we can basically go through the look and feel of how pop is gonna look. So we can have no dock at the bottom, extend to the edges, which is the default or just have a little launcher um, that doesn't extend and it just kind of floats at the bottom. So go next and we'll stick with that one. Show workspaces button. We can toggle that on and off. Application button, same thing for that. And then we can relocate the time and date. If we wanted it on the left or if we wanted it on the right. And you'll notice um, the time also the notification pop-up follows the time. So if we wanted it in the center, the notification's in the center, left and right. So we'll leave it in the center. And this is basically just telling us about how SuperKey brings up our application launcher. And if you're on a laptop, you've got gestures. Light and dark theme, I'll stay with the dark. Location services is off by default. We'll leave it like that which does mean you have to click where you're located for your time zone. That's fine, and we'll skip the online accounts. Start using POP. Cool. So now you'll see we're presented with a system update notification, so let's go ahead and click on that. And that brings up the POP shop. 
So I'm just going to click on the hamburger menu, updates and software, and then we'll let this download any updates that might be available and I'll speed the video up as well as that's installing. Okay, and the updates are complete. I'll just give it a restart and I will be back in just a second. All right, we've made it back from the restart. So let's open terminal and do a NeoFetch. We don't have that, so we'll go ahead and download it. So that's a sudo apt install NeoFetch. Put in your password. Say yes to that. And it'll go grab it real fast. And then now we can do a Neo Fetch. All right, we're running Pop OS 22.04. That's an LTS release. Kernel 6.6.10. We've got a little over 1800 Debian packages. And the desktop environment is GNOME 42.5, but it's a highly customized version of GNOME. Um, and we are sitting about 1.3 gigs at idle. All right, to install software, it's just the pop shop. So we'll click on that icon and we'll type in Inkscape. And you'll notice we've got the Flathub edition, Flatpak, or we can get the Debian edition. And I'll just grab the Debian edition. It'll be a lot smaller. Put in our password. And it does have a um, gallery description as well as the version. So we've just clicked on download. Now we'll open it since that's completed. And you can tell we've got Inkscape installed. And also if you click on your show applications, Inkscape, the icon is there in that quick menu. All right, we'll take a look at the system tray. Up top, we've got our power, volume, and network. And then within the menu, here's the volume the network. It's got settings, lock, and then power options. So you can suspend, restart, power off, or log out. And then the settings button obviously brings us into settings. And in the center, we've got our date and time. Click on that. We've got our notifications and our calendar. And we've got a do not disturb mode we can go into. And we've got our applications, which is the same as clicking on our application grid on our dock at the bottom. And then our workspaces, we click on that and we can switch between workspaces. And then the dock at the bottom, uh, show launcher. If you press super on your keyboard, same thing. So it's just an icon on the dock. And then another button to show our workspaces. Application grid, our browser, our files, terminal, pop shop, and then settings. All right, let's take a look at system monitor. So I'm gonna press super and just type in system or start typing system and system monitor is the first one in the list. We'll click on it, bring that to the middle, go to resources and our memory and our CPU is between one, two, 3%. Our memory is about two and a half gigs. Okay, let's take a look at the backgrounds. Just right click change background and I'll move it over here so where we can see some cool mountains satellite dish the name of their desktop environment is called the, the cosmic desktop environment so got a lot of space themes here and they are based in Colorado, System 76. So they've got a welcome to Colorado, it's cosmic. And there's the robot. Just some Pop OS logos there. 
unleash your potential. There's a jellyfish. Maybe inside of a cave, I'm not sure. Concept art, satellite, the moon. All right, so we'll go back up here. I like, I tend to like that one. So I'll stick with that one for the rest of the video. All right, let's see what version of Firefox that we get. And we did run the update, so I'm guessing 121 is what it'll be. Yep, 121.0.1. Okay, and if you wanted to install an alternate browser, go into the pop shop and just type Brave. And here we are, just click install. All right, and it did finish, so we'll click on open. We'll close the pop shop. And if we want to keep it down here in our dock, we'll just right click on it. Well, we're not ready for that yet. So I don't necessarily want this as my default. We'll go dark mode, uncheck the telemetry, finish. And now that's done. And if we want to pin Brave to our dash, we can just go into the menu here, right click, pin to dash, and then we can drag it. All right, and if we wanted to move the dock, we can go into settings. And then if, if you weren't in desktop already, um, you were just in the main settings, you go to desktop and then go to dock, scroll towards the bottom and you can move the position of the dock. So we, if we want to align it to the left side, we can do that. And then now the dock's on that left side. All right, and to grab steam, all we do is go into the pop shop, type in steam And we can pick between flat pack and Debian. I'll go with the Debian package. And then while that's downloading, I'll go ahead and open Firefox. And let's go grab Proton Up QT. Click on download and we'll grab the app image. We can open our downloads folder, right click on ProtonUpQT, go to properties and just allow it to execute. And then we'll keep that on the back burner while we wait on Steam to get loaded up. Which it doesn't look like it's finished though, so let's see. Click on applications, install Steam. Okay, so we'll let this run. All right, and I'll log in using my cell phone. All right, and then that's our initial login of Steam. So we'll go ahead and exit out. And then we'll bring our downloads back open. Just double click on Proton Up QT. And add a version. It'll auto populate with the latest and greatest, which is 827. And we'll let that download.
All right, that did complete, so we'll close out of that and we'll go back into Steam. And if we go into Steam settings, compatibility, and we toggle on Steam Play, we see that we have GE Proton 827. So after we restart Steam again, we'll be ready to play games. And one thing I'll cover real quickly is within Pop! OS, there is the ability to tile. So if you wanted to enable tiling, and then this show active hint, that's the orange that's around the window. So we'll just demonstrate it. We'll turn on tiling, and I'll do a super T, and then I'll hold super and type in Firefox. And you can see how they snap into place. They're, they're in tiling mode. If we go up here, and we go under the shortcuts, click on that. There's a little cheat sheet that you can go through that tells you what the key, what the keyboard shortcuts are, different key combinations to do different things. And that's gonna do it for today's video. Here are some more videos you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.